Did you know that following the solid principles can dramatically improve your code quality and maintainability? Let's find out how. The solid principles are a set of five design principles in object-oriented programming that help developers create more maintainable, flexible, and scalable software. Solid principles, introduced by Robert C. Martin, also known as Uncle Bob, these principles are the cornerstone of strong software architecture. Let's discuss one by one. First principle is single responsibility principle. A class should have only one reason to change, meaning it should have only one job or responsibility. Let's discuss this with an example. A simple box, representing a class, with a single label, like, calculate invoice total. This symbolizes the class having one clear responsibility. The same box now has multiple labels attached, such as, calculate invoice total, print invoice, and send email. The box appears cluttered or overburdened, representing a class with multiple responsibilities. The cluttered box is split into three separate boxes, each with only one label, calculate invoice total, print invoice, and send email. This shows the concept of dividing responsibilities into separate classes, each with a single job, making them easier to manage. SRP ensures that classes are easier to maintain, understand, and test by keeping them focused on a single task. Open Closed Principle Software entities should be open for extension but closed for modification. Let's discuss this with an example. This box, indicating that it cannot be changed or modified. Box you cannot change or modify but there are plug-in ports or open connectors. These connectors allow additional components to be added, but the locked box remains unchanged. Various new modules or features being plugged into these connectors, this box showing how the core functionality stays intact while the software grows by adding new components. Purpose OCP allows you to add new functionality without altering existing code, which reduces the risk of introducing bugs. LSP Liskov Substitution Principle Definition Subtypes must be substitutable for their base types without altering the correctness of the program. Purpose LSP ensures that derived classes can replace base classes without changing the behavior of the code, maintaining the integrity of the system. Let's discuss with an example. Let's assume a base object feature like move or drive. This represents the base type with a basic function. Here is the real class example. Two objects derived from the base, for example, car and bike, both inheriting the move feature from vehicle. Each subtype has its unique form but keeps the core function unchanged. A user interacts with both the car and bike objects in the same way, successfully calling the move method without any issues, demonstrating that the subtypes can be used interchangeably without altering the behavior of the program. ISP Interface Segregation Principle Let's discuss with an example. Definition Clients should not be forced to depend on interfaces they do not use. Purpose ISP advocates for creating smaller, more specific interfaces, so that clients only need to know about the methods that are relevant to them. Let's assume the worker interface uses multiple methods like work, eat, and sleep. A robot connected to this large interface, but it only needs the work method. The robot appears confused or overloaded because it doesn't need to eat or sleep. To adhere to the interface segregation principle, we can break the large worker interface into smaller, more specific interfaces. The interfaces are split into workable, eatable, and sleepable, allowing robot to only implement the work method, while human implements all the relevant methods. This prevents overloading clients with unnecessary functionality. DIP Dependency Inversion Principle Let's discuss with an example. Definition High-level modules should not depend on low-level modules. Both should depend on abstractions. Abstractions should not depend on details. Details should depend on abstractions. Purpose 
DIP reduces the coupling between modules, making the system more flexible and easier to refactor. Imagine you have a payment processor, the main part of your program, that directly relies on credit card payment, a specific method of payment. This means the payment processor is tightly connected to the details of how credit card payments work. If you ever need to change how payments are processed or add new payment methods, like PayPal or bank transfer, you'd have to modify the payment processor itself, which can make your system harder to maintain and less flexible. This tight connection is what we call tight coupling, and it's a problem because the main part of the system depends too much on the specifics of one part. To solve the problem of tight connections, we introduce something called an abstraction, like a general rule or interface called payment method. Instead of the payment processor directly depending on a specific payment method like credit card payment, it now depends on this payment method rule. Different payment methods, like credit card payment, PayPal payment, or bank transfer payment, can follow the same rule and connect to the payment processor through this abstraction. This way, the payment processor doesn't care about the specific payment details, it only follows the general rule. This makes the system more flexible because you can easily add or change payment methods without changing the core system. In simple terms, the main part of the system, the high-level module, stays the same, no matter what specific payment method is used, like PayPal payment or bank transfer payment. You can easily switch between different payment methods without changing the core logic of the system. The abstraction acts like a middle layer, allowing the main system to work with any payment method. This makes the system more flexible and less dependent on specific details, so it's easier to add or change features without breaking anything. So, what's the key takeaway here? The magic happens when you start implementing these solid principles into your daily coding habits. By doing so, you'll notice a significant transformation in your software design. Your projects will become more robust, easier to maintain, and you'll even find yourself coding more efficiently. Imagine being able to add features or fix bugs without having to dive into a chaotic sea of code. With Solid, you can achieve that. To summarize, mastering the Solid principles can significantly enhance your programming skills and project outcomes. By embracing these principles, you'll set yourself up for success in your coding journey, making your code cleaner and your projects much more manageable. If you found this video helpful, consider checking out my other videos on programming best practices and share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome content. Enjoy coding!